Welcome. We're going to try to explain the Keynesian aggregate expenditures model using algebra. Now, when you think about macroeconomics, it's driven a lot by this very simple equation. Gross domestic product equals consumption by consumers, investment by businesses, and government spending, and, of course, you could add in net exports. I think for this particular discussion, let's leave net exports out for now. We're just going to talk about GDP equals C plus I plus G. Now, what I want you to think about when you use this algebra, when we go through it, is you want to read this equation like a book or like a sentence. You don't want to look at it just like math, because that's what it's trying to do. It's trying to explain the whole economy to us, a macroeconomic concept here. GDP is gross domestic product for a whole country. Let's draw the United States like that. So let's think of this as the United States. This is trying to say, what gets made this year in the United States? What is consumption? Consumption is by these consumers. What are the things that they buy? What, can, what, what happens when they buy things? What, how do we explain what consumers do? Here are business people over here. These guys are working in their shops. Here's a sign with a shop sign, etc. What do these business people do? How do they arrange their business? How do they make investments? What happens? And here's the government. Let's take a government building here. And we're trying to think about what happens with the government and what do they do? What do they spend their money on? How do they decide things? What's going to happen at the government? If you add up these three components, consumers, business people, and the government, you can kind of get a sense of what's happening in the whole economy. So when we work through the algebra of the Keynesian model, think of this as people, as business people, as the government, and how they contribute to what gets made in the United States over a year. We're going to think about it in those terms. We're going to definitely use algebra. And, um, but I just wanted to emphasize, that's why I'm doing this very first thing, just words. I want to emphasize this. This is trying to explain to us. It's trying to explain what's happening in the economy. It's just not math. But it is a model. It is an equation. And we'll talk about more of that particular thing in the next Keynesian algebra number two. See you there.